hi good and amazing people you're welcome once again thanks so much for always tuning in our returning viewers first timers all our amazing subscribers you all are highly blessed in today's video i'll be sharing with you ways to store yam to last for a longer period of time so let's get straight to the point meanwhile if you've not subscribed to my channel please do so and hit the bell bell icon so you get to know when i upload a new video thank you i'll be using some onion palm oil also known as red oil zipper log bags these are items i'll be using to store this um yeah so keep watching to know when and how I use them. First is to cut the yam into shapes and sizes that will be easy for you to peel. See, uh, one thing with some food item is if you didn't store them properly, they will go bad quickly. Next is to slice or dice the yam into different size and shape. The ones that will be for frying, porridge or beans and yam together. Even the ones that will be for pounding. I will show you tips on how to store the ones for frying in such a way that when you want to fry them, it will be creepy, so don't go away. I will set the ones for frying aside. While these ones are for making white boiled yam, that will be enjoyed with sauce or stew. I will also cut these ones into smaller sizes or cubes that will be for porridge or for making beans and yam. I will also set it aside as well while I cut these ones into sizes that will be for pounding. Yeah, as I said earlier that I will be storing the yam with onion. I know you will be like, <laughs> how do they store yam with onion? You know, onion is loaded with lots of benefits and is full with flavor. Onion has some nutrients like sodium, which helps to prevent microbial growth and has an antibacterial properties, which helps in keeping the yam fresh for a longer period of time and it also infuses flavor in the yam. I will go ahead to wash the yam according to the sizes I cut them. After washing, I will pat them dry with towel to prevent them from sticking on each other in the freezer. Then I will cut each onion into four parts or according to the number of bags of yam I will be storing. Please remember to subscribe, click on the bell icon for you to get 
notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you. Put the quantity that will be enough for each bag and add a part of the cut onion into it. Press gently to remove air. You know air causes oxidation. We will zip the bag properly, then label it and store. Then the ones we cut for frying, I will parboil it for 30 seconds, that makes it crispy. Remember I said I will also show you other ways to store yam to last longer. This is the one I stored before and it's 8 months. In case you cut yam and you feel like you don't want to use all at once, apply palm oil at the part that, that is remaining. It prevents microorganisms like mold to grow on it. Another way to store fresh yam is to place a towel on a cold, dry place. Keep the yam head down. You can also use a wood. Place a paper on it and keep the, the yam head down as well. This way, the yam will last longer. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.